A few weeks ago, I released a video where I investigated who I believed to be the Riddler of Instagram Reels. Little did I know that my reference to a comic book criminal would be alarmingly true, because it turns out that I missed out on <laughs> years of lore. In an attempt to perform a live investigation style video, I sat down with an Instagram account that I had found a few days prior, run by a man named Troy Becker. Throughout the video, I became puzzled, wondering just who the hell this guy was. So much to the point that I empathized with his apparent loneliness, being sucked into an endless cycle of bizarre questioning. By trying to put a positive and more lighthearted spin on a commentary video, I ended up making a massive mistake, which I actually find to be rather ironic, uh, but we'll get there later. The point is that I missed out on research, and I can admit that, because I'm not perfect, okay? I'm not an expert. Any person with a brain would probably be like, hey, Andy, you ever heard of Google? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But here's the big problem, folks. It would seem that my lack of Googling is exactly what Troy wanted. With no personal posts on his account and no links to any exterior social media, I was convinced that what I was dealing with here was just a one-off Instagram Reels rising creator. But boy, oh boy, uh, was I wrong. In a unique style of video, we'll be looking back at that original video. And throughout, I will be providing you with some uh, highly important historical context. If you're familiar with the topic, uh, some of this is probably going to be old news to you, but... Um, um, I think it's important that we understand each step in his process uh, to understand who he is. Also, it'll be a nice refresher. My biggest mistake in the original video was the fact that I gave him the benefit of the doubt and that I was way too nice. And I'm sure by the end of this video that you will understand why I now have to be very not that. Ha! Sorry, I just wanted to do something a little engaging for the intro. 2023 was a big year, okay? Did you guys see that Batman movie? Uh, wait, uh, did that even come out this year? Oh yeah, nope, that came out, uh, that came out March 1st of 2022. I don't even know where I got March 1st from. Uh, that was also wrong. Well, <laughs> Oh man, well that doesn't matter, okay? I was honestly just trying to find a way to lead into the video. I like that movie a lot, okay? Um, and I liked it. Can you guys hear me right now? I'm so- Robert Pattinson was in that movie, okay? And he's played a vampire and a bird. Anyway, I like that movie a lot. And the second one is slated to come out in like 2025. And my question is, why do we have to wait that long? There were so many good characters. You had Batman, um, Batman, but we also got the Riddler and this was a very interesting take on the Riddler, okay? Because not only did he ask questions, um, but we just kind of, it was Paul Dano. How am I supposed to pass all the time in between now and next year w with no Batman? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a, a little bit of a solution to that problem uh, because I found well, let me just be real. I think I found the Riddler in real life. In fact, he's hiding in plain sight under the name Troy Becker. Um, not Paul Dano. Taking a look at this guy, he's pretty handsome, all right? He looks like a pretty nice and approachable guy. I would have a beer with him or a glass of milk or something. I don't know what type of car he's driving. It's a G-Wagon. We haven't even watched a video yet. I'm just speculating. But what do we know about the Riddler, right? In order to be the Riddler, you have to do two main things, okay? You have to ask a lot of questions and you have to kill people. Um, And this guy probably does one of those. Okay, so you are invited to a party and you're told to bring one person. And if that person is late, you get $2,000. Who are you inviting? Uh, I don't know, probably like my dad. Okay, but before I get into that, uh, before I get into what I really want to talk about in this video, I think we need to point out the fact that uh, this guy, he, he's got a hes got a really interesting way of delivering things. This is part of the reason why I've elected him as the real life Riddler. Uh, he asks very simple questions, uh, but with the weirdest cadence possible. Yeah, his delivery is weird, uh, yeah, and it always has been. Dang, you guys should go ahead and check her out. She sent in a dab real- Now, what I just showed you is actually a Musical.ly live stream from about five years ago, and you may be thinking to yourself, hey, hey, this face looks familiar. Well, it is, because this isn't Troy Becker, this is Paul Zimmer. And now you're probably like, hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, no, no, no. This guy's name is Troy Becker. Well, you would be right. Uh, and also wrong. Paul Zimmer actually used to be one of the biggest stars on Musical.ly, uh, pretty much for all the wrong reasons. In my head. When you smile. I just gotta say, seeing a compilation of videos like that at this point in time, it, it, it just feels purely comedic, doesn't it? I lived through this era of the internet and I still cannot fathom the fact that it was peak content for a majority of the users on that app. Obviously attempting to appeal to a younger audience, you'd think this guy was just your average teen internet star. 
who's also 22. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, at his peak of success, this guy was 22 years old, making ab flexing videos for minors. Uh, and if you don't believe me, well, I mean, well, you're just gonna have to wait and see. That said, this deep dive required a lot of research, which was made immensely easier by Opera, a faster, safer, and smarter browser. Because Opera isn't just a browser, it's a whole new world. Pretty cool, right? One of my favorite things to play with has been Aria, Opera's new built-in AI feature. It's connected to the whole internet to provide real-time information and is able to give you clear answers instantly. Look at this. Who is Paul Zimmer? And there you go. Look at that. That's, um... Perfect. Another thing that I love is that you get a built-in ad blocker and VPN for entirely free, which is kind of insane because you usually have to like pay for VPNs. That way you can enjoy faster and more private browsing with no extensions needed. And the last thing I want to point out is the built-in sidebar uh, because it basically does everything. Want to listen to music? Built-in player. Boom. Want to use your favorite messenger apps like Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp? Oh, look, there it is. All of these features and so much more are waiting for you on Opera. So click the link in the description or head to Opera opera.com to download and start browsing today. Okay, so you are invited to a party and you're told to bring one person. Okay. And if that person is late, you get $2,000. Who are you inviting? Yeah, that's still gonna be my dad. One thing you need to know about my dad is if you tell him you're gonna be late to something that he's also going to, that guy's gonna match you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like showing up late to a party is just kind of a normal thing to do. You know, like if you're the first person to walk into a party, the vibe that you will experience is the vibe that you're seeing right now. Just like kind of a guy standing in a corner uh, waiting for something to happen. I think this question is a little unfair though, right? Because you're counting on one person that you know is gonna show up late and they don't get anything. I don't know, it feels like the other person should get something out of this. You know, you know what I'm saying? Your friend invites you to a party and you walk into him being handed a $2,000 check. I would feel a little bit used uh, and I would feel a little bit stupid too. Um, and I would kill my friend. Do you have that one friend that literally gets sick like every other week and is somehow always Dying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that's kind of me right now. Why did he deliver it like that? Dying. Man, I love this guy so much. You know, there, there's nothing better online than a person that just is just such a little quirky goofball, you know? That is, that, that's, that's crazy. Why, why okay, would I? Wow, so wrong, D dumbass. See, my problem in this video is that I held back. I was literally trying my hardest not to be me. And a lot of people are probably wondering, oh, Andy, how have you, how have you never seen the Danny Gonzalez videos? Well, a couple things on that. Number one, and, and this is pretty embarrassing, uh, I found out that those videos existed uh, like the day I uploaded the video. <laughs> to be entirely honest, I had this weird point between like 2017 and 2020 where I just stopped watching YouTube. Uh, I think a lot of this had to do with the fact that I was really trying to run up a career on TikTok. It was a weird time in my life and I, I can't really explain it. Uh, but anyway, I, it was a time where I cast aside a lot of the things that I loved from uh, my, my, my younger days. That being said, I missed out on a year's worth of content um, from many of the commentary originators. Um, that's really embarrassing to admit. So while I can't help but blame myself for that, I, at the same time, I'm kind of like, eh, fresh perspective? Clearly, it seems like a good time to bring this story back, though, because it would seem that it is actively in development once again. By the way, I have seen those Danny Gonzalez videos now, uh, and I would highly suggest checking those out and then maybe coming back to this one. Or you can do it after. Who cares? He's asking a very real question right now, okay? Because I'm sick right now. Uh, I'm sick for the third time in three months. <laughs> Can someone explain that to me? I don't know, man. That one kind of got me, uh, that one kind of got me a little bit depressed for a second. I I've been sitting here for a few moments just thinking about it. I'll, I'm, I, I need to see a doctor. Dying? I, I need to, <laughs> can I watch that one more time? Sorry, that was just my impression. Dying? <laughs> what is this deal, dude? I'm a little bit afraid that this guy's going to start answering questions that are, like, deeply personal to me. Like, I... <laughs> you have that one friend yeah? who literally gets sick, like, every other week oh. and is somehow always dying yeah that's me that's me so now you're starting to kind of get it all right this guy's the riddler he's got a question for every situation in the goddamn book and this is a very refreshing personality i, I feel like there's a lot of these accounts online where it's like tag three friends 
Tag your mom. I feel like a lot of these guys, they'll usually be like, hey, question for the boys. How many beers can you kill before your, your dick doesn't stand up anymore? I like this guy, okay? He's a journalist. He, he knows how to get into your head, all right? He's asking real thought-provoking questions. Otherwise, I wouldn't be standing here for however long I have been so far just yapping. Okay, is it just me or do you have that one friend that just like abuses the hell out of you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I don't think so. <laughs> I, he, I I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I do too. Hey, Troy, you doing okay, man? Do, do, do you want to have a one-on-one? -on -one? Now things are starting to get personal uh, uh, beyond me. Now, now, now it's starting to seem a little bit personal to him. Yeah, no, man, I don't think I have any friends like that. I, I, I'm going to keep it 100% here. I do like the idea that this guy is just experiencing true turmoil in his life, and he's just turning to Instagram reels to ask the public for help. Okay, is it just me, or do moms hate it when you say that you love them? <laughs> There's always that one mom that yells at you when you tell them you love them. Yeah, I really hope the best for Troy. I, I, I hope someone's checking up on him. Uh, unless he's the abuser. What if he's the friend that's like, <laughs> what if he's just checking in on himself? Hey guys, we all have that one friend who abuses the other friends, right? <laughs> I, I, I'm a good person. God damn, kind of wild that I was so on track, but I was just ignoring all the signals because he did abuse something. Uh, the trust of millions of fans. You know how on TikTok live, you can send creators a gift and they, you know, they'll be like, thanks for the roses. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. This was actually first introduced on Musical.ly. However, on that platform, there was more incentive for the viewer. Because when they sent a gift, it would mean that they would get interaction from the creator in return, whether this be a DM or a shout out or even sometimes a duet. But with an audience of over a million followers, this seems pretty hard to follow up on, right? Yeah. Well, many of these Musical.ly stars did not follow through on those promises, uh, mainly Paul Zimmer. Is it actually true that a girl whose love language is physical touch is also a girl that hates when people touch her? Yeah, man. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. Yeah, man. That that is a thing. Okay. Now we're opening up a little bit of a little bit of a can of worms with Troy here. Troy, are you upset? because there's a woman that you touched without her permission and she didn't like it? Now you're starting to ask some real questions here, buddy. Uh, yeah, Troy, love language doesn't mean that if you do that thing to her, she's going to like it. It means that, uh, someone that she loves... <laughs> <laughs> Why am I even trying to explain that? You know what I mean? I really hope that Troy has some, uh, you know, some good friends to run these questions by. I don't know, though. The more I look at these, I'm like, this is a, this is a little concerning. You know, I used to make the mud consumer videos when I was back in college. Uh, fun story about that. One time there was someone that was uh, afraid for my mental health and they reported me to the deans. They should probably do that to this guy. But just how did Paul pull off these scams? Well, uh, it actually functioned very similarly to the way that people now uh, suck in cash on TikTok Live. Thank you, Kaylee, for sending in the nay nay also. Ah, Jesus Christ, man. It, it, it's like an alien trying to hide in plain sight, you know? In a YouTube video uploaded by this user, they show to us in detail that the dab sticker literally costs $100. Other smaller gifts, like I said before, would get you things like a follow back or a duet, but many users reported being unfollowed or having their posts unliked hours later, as well as the duets uh, never happening. In all fairness, this YouTube video does contain a recorded instance of Paul actually following through on an exchange, but somehow this manages to only make his situation worse. If after you and check out your music these, we're going to do it right after this reaction to Maggie. I mean, Megan. Ooh, I don't think I've seen your music these before. So here we go, we're gonna react to Megan right now. Uh, yeah, so if you couldn't tell, that was Paul reacting to a Musical.ly uploaded by a teenager. Uh, and, and what was that that he said in response? Uh, okay, so I get it. I understand that awe can be taken in a lot of ways, and I don't mean to assume his intent here, uh, but given the context and the way he speaks, I'm not gonna lie, it just comes off insanely fucking creepy, dude. Not only is this extremely creepy, uh, but it's just not a reaction. Uh, in fact, the only real, <laughs> the only real and true statement he makes in the video is, Ooh, I don't think I've seen your music these before. Yeah, I would hope not, man. 
Yeah, I would hope not, man. Also, if you don't believe me on any of the aforementioned behavior that I've called out, uh, in Danny's most recent video that he made on Troy back in 2020, uh, he found even more footage where Paul literally calls this teenage girl cute. If you don't believe me, there's countless YouTube videos about it. There's even ones where you can see him doing it. In addition to like calling his eight-year-old fans cute. Ooh, Maggie, you are so cute. I was watching your music these earlier, I think. Yo, look at her. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Additionally, Danny manages to find some pretty solid proof that the duets never happened, uh, as he was actually able to scroll the account at the time that everything was happening. But around the time that people began to catch on and the hashtag ban Paul Zimmer surfaced, he wiped his slate and disappeared from the surface of the internet. So the guy basically flexed his abs on camera for millions of children to see, stole money from those children, and just dipped. But who the fuck is Troy Becker? The more and more I've looked, the questions have just become more and more concerning. You know, one second it was like, hey, don't we all have that one friend who's always late to the party? And then it was like, I touched a girl without her permission. How can I seek forgiveness? If Troy is a criminal, and this is a major if, this is a major if, um, he's going about it in the right way. <laughs> this dude is literally hiding in plain sight. Unpopular opinion, but maybe you're single because you're just so hot and everyone is so intimidated and scared to get rejected by you. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I can't help but think that he's asking questions about his own life, right? Is he trying to encourage others or is this just, <laughs> or is this just a really low key form of positive self-affirmation? It's almost like he was coming up with these things off the top of his head. Wait, what did he say again? Unpopular opinion. I like how he says unpopular opinion too. Unpopular opinion. He almost sounds like Donald Trump in a way. Is that like a weird, that's stupid, dude. No one finds that funny. You should just shut up. Unpopular opinion, but maybe you're single because you're just so hot and everyone is so intimidated and scared. You're so hot and everyone, uh, uh, everyone. Uh. First of all, I want to know what type of car he's driving because it's fucking huge, all right? Like it's got a massive interior. I was going to say G-Wagon, but I'm going to be honest. I don't know what those look like on the inside. <laughs> I really want to know more about this guy, but the problem with him is that there you can't find a single normal post. He, he just has reels. There's a very serious question. When you're in a group chat and everyone starts arguing, do you have that one friend that will message you privately reacting to every everything that's going on in the chat. <laughs> Dude, dude, it's just like, he's, he's writing the jokes himself. I'm sorry, man. I want to answer this question, you know? I I, I have that one friend, you know? I, I, I went into this video wanting to answer these questions, but who is texting me right now? Um, yeah, I have that one friend, and I think that uh, that one friend is super nice to me sometimes, and we talk and stuff. Um, I want to reach out to this guy. Should I DM him right now? I I'm just going to voice to text this. Hey man, love the content, exclamation mark. You really ask some thought provoking questions, comma. Normally I would say that as a joke, but I actually mean it. Your questions are super specific and I wish that I was as inquisitive as you. Yeah. Let's, let's hit send on that. God, guys, I feel like such a chump for doing that. Paul Zimmer returned to the internet after about 18 months of radio silence to make the following Instagram post. This actor at Troy Becker IG, kid literally looks like a younger, sexier version of me. I don't even use social media anymore, but had to post this. <laughs> okay. That's, uh... So it's a little weird. Paul Zimmer in the following days then followed up his Instagram post by saying he's taking over everything. Hey guys, my name is Troy Becker. I am an American actor. It is nice to meet y'all. Um, as you guys know from Instagram, Paul Zimmer no longer uses any social media and he has given me his Instagram accounts because he thinks we look alike. This of course introduces us to scam number two. Uh, literally the dumbest scam of all time. We were now expected to believe that Troy Becker was a completely different person from Paul Zimmer. Not only that, but Paul was quoted as saying, Troy is one of the dopest people I know, and he is literally my younger twin, my much younger twin. I believe Troy is 15 or 16 years old. <laughs> also crazy fucking insane fact, uh, I actually used to do community theater with the guy who wrote the article that I pulled this quote from. Uh, not even kidding, shout out, shout out. Uh, see Paul, 
that's how you do a shout out. So then people were just kind of left with this 20 something year old guy pretending to be 16 years old. And honestly, honestly, I don't think there's any appropriate way to justify that. Man, I feel good now that I reached out to this guy. Like, straight up, I just sent him a DM. Maybe he'll respond to me by the end of the video. He has more Instagram followers than me, but uh, I don't know. Let's keep diving in. Let's answer some questions from Troy here. Dating in 2023 be like, I don't want a relationship, but I want to talk to you every single day and keep you around for my benefit. I don't know if this guy is really complaining. What, what is he doing? That's why this guy is so captivating to me, right? He's asking these questions and he's making these statements, but I don't know if they're pertaining to him or the rest of society. And I don't know if they're positive or if they're negative. This is what makes the guy such a Riddler, you know? Uh, you know, because with the Riddler, most of the time I'm like, Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Because with any normal person just asking questions like this on Instagram, you're like, oh yeah, cool, I'll, I'll tag a friend real quick. No, this guy is gripping me. I'm watching these videos like five times in a row. It's not just the questions, it's not just the comments, it, it's the cadence and it's the eye contact. He is looking. Okay, I'm gonna cut myself off real quick. This concept is going to return, so so hold on to this in your brain. But look at what I just found. Dating in 2023, it's, you like, I don't it's want- It's the same video. Me. Now that was uploaded July 3rd of 2023, and this was uploaded in November. My man knows how to recycle. Okay, we're gonna get back to this, okay? But hold on to it. Now back to the statement that he just made. Uh, Troy, I gotta I gotta check you here for a second. Are you complaining about this 2023 dating standard or are you celebrating it? Troy's the kind of guy that you would go on a first date with um, and it would change the trajectory of your life forever, much like watching someone get shot in the face right in front of you. The dude would just be asking the most thought-provoking questions in the weirdest way possible. You would leave that meal a changed human. This is like the $5 billion or dinner with Jay-Z question, except it's Troy. I'm taking the dinner with Troy any day of the fucking week and I'm paying. Is it actually true that the perfect couple is an older boy with a younger girl. All right, Troy, let's sit down and have a conversation real quick. Is it true that the best couple is an older boy and a younger girl? Okay. What if she's 12? Yeah, Troy, I don't mean to badger, but you're gonna have to answer the goddamn question. Now I'm starting to wonder if there is a reason that we don't know much about this man. All we see is him asking questions. Remember how I said this guy is a very intelligent criminal? Yeah, he's being very specific here. Because there's only one way to be an intelligent criminal. And that's by saying nothing at all. Older boy and younger girl is just general enough that that guy can get away with anything. He could be talking about someone who's 86 and 56 or 25 and 14. Uh. Mere months later, we received yet another series of videos from Troy, or Paul, God damn it. And in these videos, he planned to address everything. And by everything, I mean, I mean nothing. You know, I'm really not one to talk about drama, but with people making up rumors to why I disappeared with this whole Paul Zimmer, Troy Becker thing, with people saying that I got banned, people saying that I scammed people. First off, before I address anything, I just wanna say I honestly don't care if you believe me or not because I know who I am. My name is Troy Becker, I am an actor, and Paul Zimmer is a character that I created for social media. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so now people were expected to believe that our original character, Paul, was just a character? And that was supposed to mean that Troy was the real person all along? But he's, but, wait, but he's, but he's only 16? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so here's what happened in a nutshell. And, and when I tell you this, just, just, just try not to vomit. Paul Zimmer was a character because his real name was Paul Gatowski. And I say was his name because in 2019, he legally changed his name to Troy Becker. Look at this Wikipedia card. What, what, what does it actually want us to know? By the way, in those response videos, he never took accountability or apologized for a single action from his past. So not I can firmly assume that this guy just doesn't give a single shit about anything. Look, I'd say more power to him, but as far as I'm concerned, the guy's a borderline criminal. Oh, also, as soon as people started giving him backlash for this stunt, uh, the guy disappeared yet again. And here we are. Now, Troy, we have quite a few more things to look at from you here, but I'm gonna be real with you, man, okay, okay? You gotta redeem yourself, all right? You're, you're going deeper and deeper down an awful rabbit hole right now. Should I switch hats? Now I'm wearing a hat that says hi and there's a giraffe on it. Uh, I think the joke is that they're really like tall. So I need to shave. 
Can you guys start like calling me out for that when I forget? Please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, look, I, I said it before. The jokes are writing themselves. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. Please tell me I'm not the only one. But do you have that one friend that just like collects the most embarrassing pictures of you? <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one that has really incriminating photos from the party last night and it's on like 15 people's phones. We all have that one friend who's, who, who needs help, right? <laughs> Uh, Troy boy, I'm gonna be real. Uh, I don't know if I'm uh, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know at this point. You're really just baffling me Okay, is it actually true that when two girls are close their periods can like sync up to be the same dates? What kind of Bluetooth is that? All right, man. Uh, okay. Man. I warned you, man. <laughs> You're <laughs> digging that fucking hole right now, dude. We need to we need to get this guy like a PC and some Fortnite. Just I mean, I, I he needs something. That being said, cut Ooh. it out with the fucking Bluetooth joke, dude. Uh, that was uh, that was repulsive. Is it true? Uh. Uh, probably I've heard it to be true. Uh, I'm not the expert though, so I don't know why you're asking me. Okay, is it just me or do you have that one friend that when y'all get together, you constantly have laugh attacks? I think I do, man. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, I got I got a couple buddies like that. We love to have laugh attacks. Nice question, man. Let's move on. Is it actually true that real water drinkers know? that all water does not taste the same. Um, I mean, I have a couple questions about that. What's a real water drinker? I would consider myself to be a real water drinker. You know what? No, 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 let me let me engage him, okay? Because I, I have thoughts about this. I drink a lot of water. I would say that most of the time I'm drinking upwards of 100 ounces of water a day. Don't say it's unhealthy. It's very healthy and I love peeing. If you gave me a crisp bottle of Evian water um, and like a Dasani, I would probably be able to tell the difference. Yes, uh, indeed, indeed. Now, keep in mind, guys, this video has 329,000 views. The one about water. I didn't think that that was very topical, but uh, you know what? I think it's cool that he found a niche. Okay, let's give it up for him. Let's give it up for him. Yo, okay, so some besties might have, like, a matching phone case, but me and my bestie, we have matching laughing problems. Okay, me and, oh, I saw that, I saw that little chuckle at the end. Uh, can I, uh, can you show us your bestie? Please, man, I'm dying to know, like, one thing about you. Please show us your bestie. Please show us your bestie. I'm gonna call you out for one thing, though. I don't actually know people who have matching phone cases. I, I, I didn't think that was a thing. But it could be. I'll, I'll give you that credit, dude. I really want to know if he's responded to my DM yet. Please, dude, did you? Dude, he hasn't. Ooh! Maybe if we look at his story, we can get some insight as to what he's up to. Come on, Troy. Let's see that story. I just found that if two girls are close, their period dates can change at the same time. What kind of Bluetooth is that? Dude, dude, what the fuck? He made that joke like months ago. Also, apologies to my viewers. I understand that that was probably a bit of a, a bit of an alarming reaction. You, you guys know I don't usually react like that but I do. Anyway, just a little check in here. You guys, uh, you guys liking this, uh, this like rant investigation style video? I've been standing for like an hour in front of this camera. I feel like I'm doing like a stand up special. Hey guys, we all have, uh, we all have that one friend who's got a Bluetooth period. Am I right? <laughs> is it actually true that when a girl- Why does he always say, is it actually true? No, no, I don't even- When a girl is gonna go out, she has to make sure that her main friend is gonna be there or else she's not going. Um, I do understand that to be true. I also understand that to be true of men. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like going out in general, okay? Uh, maybe you can call me stupid or lame for that or whatever, whatever you want. I don't, I don't care. It's like, it's up to you, so. Um... Yeah, it's a, yeah, whatever. And that, folks, believe it or not, is the place where I decided that it was time to stop filming. I genuinely stood in front of that camera for two hours, uh, and I looked at tons of videos. Like, it actually took me so much scrubbing to go through and edit this video. It was insane. So at the end here, I kind of wanted to do a little afterthought, you know, throw in a couple details uh, that happened in the following days. Troy actually ended up getting back to me uh, in the DMs. He said, hey, Andy, I appreciate that. I think... The saddest part in this process for me, other than being his fucking little pawn, was the fact that he was so nice in the DMs. He knew what he was doing. I feel like if someone like reaches out to you randomly like that, like you're always like, hmm, what's their, like, 
He's got to be scared of every single fucking DM he gets. Scared or just tired of it? I can't believe I let him... He he he, he broke down my walls! He <laughs> and that pretty much wraps up um, my first experiences with Troy. Paul. Paul. Troy. It was a nice first-hand, first-time look at what the guy is doing now. So let's talk about that. As far as I'm aware, Troy made his most recent return in March of last year, uh, and the guy's been flying under the radar for a hot minute now. But I'm glad that I decided to come back and revisit this topic. I was a little worried that it was going to come off as me rehashing like a tired topic, but I honestly don't think that's the case at all. Clearly, Troy is still very present online, and as I sit here, you know, as, as you watch this video, he continues to scam the internet. I wanted to come back to this topic to accept the fact that this is an ever continuing story seven years in the making and and just a few weeks ago I was living proof that his strategy works you know it takes a lot to admit that you're a, a little bit dumb sometimes uh and, I, and I'm glad I did he's actively growing a new community of people who have no idea who he is he's profiting and unfortunately he's winning there are many things that I could have covered in this video that are just purely comedic I could have pointed out the Troy Becker IMDB page I could have talked about his old YouTube channel exclamation point Point where his former co-host of the channel literally like called him out. <laughs> he called out Troy Becker as a false identity and said Zimmer had an inflated ego. Wow. But honestly, I just hope that he takes this returnal to the internet, you know, maybe as an opportunity to take a big look at things and say, hey, you know, maybe it's time to just let it go. You could make the case that people make mistakes um, and that people should be given time to grow and change. However, as we have seen in the past seven years, every time he takes a break to grow and change, he just comes back and does the same thing. Should he get a second chance in real life in the real world? Absolutely. One, I mean, 100% absolutely. But should he get a second chance on the internet? Absolutely not. But there is absolutely no reason that this individual should be given a platform. Platform. There's no reason that he should be profiting off of the same field that he abused so harshly. I took that original video down because I gave him the benefit of the doubt without prior knowledge, and he does not deserve that. Dude's still 28 talking about an older boy and a younger girl. Get a life, man. That is the end of this video. This is probably one of the more analytical and focused videos that I've made in a while, uh, but I felt like after the original version of this video, uh, I sort of owed it to not only you guys, but myself to make this a fully fleshed out sort of investigation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and maybe a little bit fun. Uh, I mean, honestly, watching this video back, I, I did poke at him a little bit, okay? I, I, I hit him with the goofs. I can't promise that there will be any videos like this anytime soon. Uh, this was like a very unexpected and interesting style, uh, but maybe you found it cool. If you did find it cool, please be sure to like and comment and interact and subscribe and you can maybe, you should, you should leave a dinosaur in the comments. Leave a dinosaur in the comments. That is all I have for you this time. Um, what's the thing that I say next? Um, oh, but until next time. Oh uh, yeah, guys, this is my childhood bedroom. I, I think I've shot videos. I've shot videos in here before. I did the bar rescue with Ted here. And then I think I did some videos like years ago here, but this is a side of the wall that you don't see. Um, this was the room that I set up in high school when I was making YouTube videos in high school and no one was watching them. <sighs> hey, but look now, look how times have changed. Isn't that cool? Okay, the video's over.